Hi everyone, we are group 2 for Animal Health Technologies 1050, and our animal welfare issue describes the implications and some alternatives for orcas in captivity. Today I'll walk you through our research findings of captive killer whales to define the issue, explore the arguments for keeping orcas in captivity, and the arguments against keeping orcas in captivity. Through our research, our group was able to come to a conclusion of why captivity is a welfare issue and how to use other methods for education and conservation. In recent years, the growing uneasiness of orcas in captivity has increased. Research has found that the life expectancy of captive killer whales is decreased. They pose a safety concern for humans or those who interact with them and other whales. Their environments in captivity resemble nothing like their natural environment, and orcas are forced into artificial social structures creating tension among other animals, which often leads to conflict. Some arguments for keeping orcas in captivity is that they are given a higher standard of care, they receive veterinary care, and they have higher quality food, as well as a more maintained water quality. Many captive orcas are also bred in captivity, which results in the loss of natural instincts and survival skills that they would acquire at birth in the wild. Without a proper social structure, they're more vu vulnerable to predators in the wild, and the potential harm of diseases passed between captive and wild orcas is also an issue. Captive orcas haven't been exposed to diseases in nature, and wild orcas are not immune to diseases passed in captivity. People question the reliability and effectiveness of breed and release programs. Some arguments for Another reason for not releasing orcas back into the wild is that the ocean is highly polluted, and as a result, orcas are more at risk to get sick just due to the amount of pollutants in the water. Overall, organizations should oversee their responsibility for their animals. Some people question if keeping orcas in captivity is a welfare issue um, because captivity affects their mental health um, and can shorten their lifespan. Artificial living environments and social structures contribute to chronic stress. In captivity, orcas have little stimulants, and when bored, they chew on concrete walls or steel gates, which creates health problems and dental issues. Having little space to move around creates psychosis in the whales, causing stress or tension that can lead to injury or death of trainers and other whales. Uh, a few cases in SeaWorld uh, where have tra trainers have died or have been severely injured. As a, group, as a group, we came to decide that keeping whales in captivity for the purpose of education and conservation is harmful and inhumane. No species should endure that for the benefit of our learning. We propose the following action to better the welfare of animals in captivity and some alternative methods to educating and conservation. First, it starts with self-awareness. Realize that you may be contributing to the issue by supporting these organizations. Um, so don't go to marine parks, don't go to aquariums. Um, there's plenty of ways to see uh, animals in the wild or Google or the library. Um, two, we propose a new curriculum in school 
school about the welfare of marine mammals. Also starting educating kids at a young age because it's crucial for their development. Um, so they grow up understanding compassion for animals. Three, we push governments or organizations to take action and implement new regulations to better the system uh, or the welfare of, of orcas if they cannot be released into the wild. And most importantly, go to sea sanctuaries or support a marine mammal research where they can put money into finding ways for them to be released back into, into the wild or to end captivity altogether. Um, and whale watching is also a great way to promote conservation, learn about whales, and see them in their natural habitat. Um, all of these methods are great alternatives for education and conservation. Uh, we thank you very much for taking a moment to look at our presentation. Uh, we hope you learned a lot, and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask.